A pastor is a seer gifted to see beyond normalcy. One to lead followers who don't even know how to lead themselves is written that he's a prophet. One who only speaks upon what God demands. What if the demand given requires a uniform to walk upon his sacred grounds? Instructions on how she should be dressed while he's undressing her with two eyes, not his third. To be in a skirt where her legs are exposed, a shirt where her breasts aren't so hidden. I was told covering my crown was unacceptable because hoods are only validated if I'm walking through them instead of wearing them. A 12-year-old body eviscerated, only resulting in placements of being placed underneath grounds. I thought this was a place of no judgments. Yet I've been judged by those who find me more fancy and less clothing than understanding the expression expressed within my clothing? Where in the Bible does it say, you must dress how man has told you to be considered holy? I wonder if God so lost embedded, embedded in your eyes like I did when I first saw you, pondering if he can read one's thoughts through body language like I have. A pastor who specializes in sexualizing his followers is the one who works from the rules of the Bible. He stated, a woman is defined by her femininity and denied when she is more masculine than man. What if man is the same reason for women closeting their temples? They tell us go to church. Though some churches aren't homes, but implementations of new forms of trauma. Trauma-rooted environments forces one to relive no revived circumstances that aren't supposed to be repeated. Aren't pastors supposed to push for one to feel ameliorated? In lieu preferring to denigrate us when we don't abide by their rules. If God is creator of all mankind, then why is it mankind? Why is man blind? Why do they tend to be oblivious when I refuse to reveal my sacred melanin? As if God said I must show flesh to be authenticated in his houses. Removing the chance to be myself as if I ask to be anyone else. Buildings are not tainted. It's the people brought into them that taints them. So, Lord, can you remove the power of them utilizing their power? Making young girls and women feel like their bodies are playgrounds until their bodies are not found. Relocating their bodies so news of them has drowned. Watching Channel 12, hoping at least one can be found. Now, I'm not accusing pastors of being murderers, but if the shoe fits, wear it. Like how you wore it when, she want, when you wanted to see her naked. Hoping we show skin to few desires God labeled a sin. Seems like sins are only considered sins when, wait, ooh. Seems like sins are only considered sins if we're the ones sinning in comparison to them. Refusing to bear sins orchestrated by them. So next time a pastor preaches, make sure he's teaching, not reaching for peaches or being lustful leeches. These aren't reasons to go against what God has aligned them to do. Pastors can be the cause of her, too. That's my time, guys. Thank you for listening. <laughs>